Wish. Should you buy or nigh? If you were like me, hesitant, unsure, is this good quality? Is this gonna kill me? I don't know. I'm gonna take that risk for you. So over the past year or so, I've been buying just random trinketry stuff for now. I'm starting small. Uh, and I'm gonna show you what I got. And basically we're gonna go through all the shit that I bought and we're gonna see if it's any good, if it was worth the supposedly drastic price drops. Cause you know, there's things on there that are like, oh my God, Apple Watch used to be $322.97, but only $16.97? Wow! Yeah, okay, no. Now, I never got my hopes up, but, you know, I was a little curious. I'm like, what could this be? What am I going to get? Am I going to get a failed electronical contraption that may or may not short out on my wrist and kill me? Or am I going to get the equivalent of a toy that you find in a cereal box for kids? Who knows? First on the list. All right, I went through my order history. Oh, so they have a lot of things on there that's like, ooh, we get this free with your purchase. So I got this with my first order. It was this bracelet. It looked pretty cute in the picture. I had no idea what I was gonna get from this. Now, the thing with this, 90% of these items are from China, if not all. So I wasn't expecting super fast delivery. In fact, for this one, this one actually got lost in the mail because it's literally a tiny little bracelet, right? So a few months after, when I didn't uh, receive it by its expected delivery date, I actually messaged them like, hey, I didn't get this, could you send another one? So they're like, okay, cool. So they did. And I had actually completely forgotten about this thing. It was lost in the mail, right? So a few days later, it actually came in the mail. And it's actually not too bad, you know? It's a pretty cute little bracelet, you know? I wouldn't pay top dollar for this, but I can't put this on by myself. But it's not bad. But then since they, I had made that, filed that complaint about not receiving it, another one was on the way. So I actually have ended up with two now. So, my bad. Which is actually kind of nice though. Um, knowing that I did get my, knowing that I could um, fucking fly, can you not? You can go anywhere else in my house. Anywhere else. Fuck, man. So this was kind of nice that um, I could complain and actually get a response back in a reasonable time. I think it was like, if not instant, like a few minutes or a few hours. And yeah, I got a pretty good solution. They sent me a new one out, so. Pretty happy with the customer service there. Next, I was trying to order these little, tiny little Bluetooth earpieces. This was before AirPods came out, so. You know, you see all these knockoff, crappy little things on the market. So when I looked at this picture, it looks like there's two there, right? Wrong! You get one, just one little Bluetooth earpiece. Yeah. I think it's, I, I, I don't know, maybe it's my fault for not reading the... Maybe it's not my fault for reading the ad, but... So it's only one headpiece. Again, don't expect much, it's from China, so it's kind of a janky little piece of plastic. It works, don't get me wrong, you still play music on it or use it, but battery life isn't that great. What's to be expected? Whatever, it was only like three bucks, so I'm not really complaining. Now these. This was a period when I was thinking about buying the Apple Watch, but I didn't want to pay the price of an Apple Watch. <sighs> Can we please stay out of my face? So. I was looking around on Wish, cause you know, wow, this item used to be $300, but now it's only $16. Hmm, great deals, right? Wrong. I mean, not only that, the fucking pictures they used were like legitimate Apple photos of the fucking Apple Watch, or they're like blatantly like taking photos, like they weren't the fucking photos of the real thing. So I'm like, okay, yeah. Whatever. So, just to be sure, I bought three um, from three different ads because there's like a buttload of the same thing on there, you know? It's like, wow, a smartwatch for only the price of, I don't know, gas. Fuck. Okay, so I'll start by opening the box ones first because, yeah, so these ones were the ones I remember. It came with like a charger, a little screen protector. How oh, cute, thanks. So these ones were the ones that 
blatantly ripped off the pictures from the Apple website and used it on their own. I mean, it does, it looks pretty similar, like on the side, the, yeah, no, when you turn it on, it, it's just like this janky, like, I don't know, shit looks like Linux or the old ass Android operating system. It's very not appealing. So the real issue is when you try to connect this shit to your phone, you need a third party, like Bluetooth notifications app or whatever. And I went through, I like scoured the app store. All of them require those stupid yearly subscriptions, like 90 bucks for a year to use your stupid app just to connect my phone to your watch, which should already fucking do that by the way. What the hell am I paying for? I don't know. Yeah, this was a different one. Same thing. It literally looks the exact fucking same. I'm pretty sure they just, the same company just puts up a bunch of different ads from different uh, stores saying they're different people. I don't know. Same fucking thing with this one. But you know, I wasn't getting my hopes up. Then I, this one was actually different. This one actually is what it looked like. So I, I gave up on trying to get an Apple Watch. So I'm like, hey, let's just try to find something the closest thing without paying that price. But can you do that? Not a fucking chance. No, this one actually looked like what it was. So I got it. It was a little better looking than these guys in terms of like the, op the um, operating system or interface or whatever the fuck. It looked pretty cool. But what is the use of an electronic watch where you all you can do is basically look at the time and maybe set an alarm on it? Any sort of Bluetooth functionality to your phone ran into the same problem. You need to pay for those shitty third-party apps. Woohoo! If you want a smartwatch to go with your phone, just buy an actual fucking, like, you, you, fuck off, bitch. So yeah, if you want to purchase a Bluetooth watch, just, just go to your provider, get the official branded shit if you can afford that. If not, it's not really, like, the biggest deal. I actually kind of regret buying this. Anyway, moving on. But on that note, again, customer service came through. Yay, you wish you're good for something. Yeah, once again, I got a quick response. I stated, I don't know, it's not the same what I was expecting or it doesn't work, blah, blah, blah. And they're like, okay, cool. Here's your refund. Do whatever the fuck you want with the watches. Okay, so that's kind of cool. I got some free janky ass watches sitting around my house now. At least I got that refund though. Next is what Wish is actually really good for. There's some good stories in this, guys. So you guys know these cute little Instax throwback, shake it like a Polaroid picture cameras, you know? These are cute, these are great. They have a lot of accessories for these things on here, like they got the cases, um, and I got on here this little rubber, rubber case, just to protect it, because if you've met me, I've dropped everything in my entire life. And, but yeah, no, this has actually worked out pretty good. It's, yeah, the right size, um, it looks cute, protects my camera. I'm actually happy with this one. The next thing, also pertaining to this camera, the film. These stupid film packages. This shit can get really expensive, so I found a post. The ad originally said 100 sheets for $6, but I only received one package of it. So, like a box of 10. And I mean, I paid $6 for it for 10, so I guess I got some sort of deal, but oh well. Okay, next. This is actually really handy. Um, so I had actually bought my camera off eBay and it was missing like camera covers and shit like that. And it's like, I went to the Canon website and it, they wanted like 50 bucks or something or 20 bucks for just that little stupid plastic cap to cover the lens. And I'm like, what the fuck, man? It's just a the. So I was looking at off-brand stuff and same thing. They're pricier than what I want to pay for a circular piece of plastic but uh, I do value my lens. So, Wish, got your back, guys. All these freaking camera lens. Wish came through. These are all like legit Canon branded things too. And they actually like, they they fit well on my camera. They're actually just as good as the original. So I'm like, oh, that's handy. And again, they're only like a couple bucks. So it's not bad. So I have recently got into cosplay and yes, 
this can be a very expensive hobby. Unless you are, like, crafted in the art of sewing and foam forging, which I am not. So, I've been trying my best to scour and grab whatever I can at the best prices, but usually in stuff like this, you cheap out on the product, you're gonna get poopy. There's a ton of stuff on there. I found a wig, this white wig. Um, I think it was 10 bucks for this. I am sorry, it is a mess. I wore it to a party. But I mean, it is a very pretty wig. Mine, ignore the mess, because I have not yet fixed it. Um, it's really cute, like I like the color. It's styled really easily. It's pretty good, but I mean, they did definitely cheap out on like how much hair they added, because I mean, look at them tracks, fool. Yikes. If you're not doing anything like you want to take really nice photos, get that like sleek, flawless style. I wouldn't really recommend this, but I mean, hey, it's something, it's cheap, it did the job, so I'm not complaining. It is not too bad of a wig, it feels really nice. All right, we arrive at the last of the wish list. This last item I got, I was really skeptical, again, because, you know, with pictures being taken from official websites and being used, I wasn't sure, but uh, I really love collecting these cute little figurines. So yes, Wish does actually follow through with some of the things they have on there. This is actually a legitimate, um, what is that, Nintendoroid? Whatever the fuck it's called. I don't know, it's all Japanese, but this is actually the real thing. This cute little, like, the paint job's good, all the items are there. Yeah, so you wanna buy, like, collect figurines. Wish got you, man. So delivery on these things, it varies. I wouldn't really expect the expected date. Some of them take like a month longer, a couple weeks longer, a couple days longer. So I don't know, which can be a toss up. I don't know. It can be good, it can be bad. Uh, don't have expectations, that's all I'd say. But don't you worry, their customer service is actually pretty good for most of the cases I've had, so. I don't know, I kind of like buying stuff off this and taking a gamble. I have a buttload of stuff in my wish list, so I'm gonna keep on buying stuff and maybe I'll see if they're good or not. I don't know, is there anything you guys want me to try buying? Comment below for your suggestions. Nothing crazy, please. <laughs> I'll give it a try, I'll buy them, I'll fucking do another review thing of how long it took and if it's good. I think the general consensus is wish is pretty good. All right. I can't wait to get out of this wig. It is in my face, in my eyes. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Until then, peace out. <laughs>